So we've already discussed what we learned yesterday about how we created tree diagrams to represent a sample space. Today we're going to focus on the actual calculation of probabilities of compound events. And so it's very similar. We just missed one step yesterday that we we're going to continue with today. So we're going to think about how the diagram would change if we were interested in mapping the possible overall outcomes over three consecutive nights. So to accommodate this additional third stage, we would take steps similar to what we did before, and we would just attach all the possibilities for the third stage Wednesday to each branch of the previous stage on Tuesday. So now we have three nights. So I know that we already saw the earlier picture, but I'm going to go ahead and start from the beginning um, so that we can kind of restamp how many stages we have. So since there are three consecutive nights, that means three nights in a row. I know stage one is Monday. Stage two is Tuesday. Stage three is Wednesday. And then we will have a final column for all of the outcomes listed side by side. Uh-oh. Oh, that looks a lot better. This is nice. Okay, outcomes. Alrighty, and so now if we're going to look at Monday, I know that we have three, I'm sorry, two different types of games that we can play. We can play board games or we can play card games. So on the first night, the only options we can play are board games and card games. And now I know that this is what leads to our branches later because we could have played Monday board games first, and then Tuesday something else. So that's why we have to have our options there. We could also have had Monday board games first and then another option on Tuesday. And then we'll go into the card game option in just a second. But our options still stay the same. We only have two types of games. So we could have had Monday board games and then Tuesday board games, or we could have had Monday board games and then Tuesday card games. And then we'll repeat that for Monday card games Tuesday, we could play, I'll always do it in the same order so we don't get confused, board games or card games. So that's so far the two stages that we talked about yesterday. And now we're going to move into Wednesdays where we now have to do the same thing again and add our branches to every single outcome on Tuesday because this is a continuation um, of outcomes here. So now we're looking at Wednesday. And we can still only play board games or card games for every single pair of branches. So every single pair of branches has B or C. And it's going to become a little bit clearer when we um, start highlighting things. So we know why we have to put board games and card games on every branch. And so if we look at the first outcome, if I follow this route, I see that I have three Bs in a row, which means I can go ahead and write BBB, sorry, I used the same color I was not wanting to use, BBB, which means that I can play board games on Monday, on Tuesday, and on Wednesday. So BBB, and now I can go ahead and highlight the second branch, BC, oops, and this is exactly what I was going to say, be careful of doing, is that we have to make sure that we hit every single route, so I missed a route, with BBC, Right, So that means we could have board games on Monday, board games on Tuesday, and then board, I'm sorry, card games on Wednesday. So BBC. And then I'm going to go ahead and highlight the rest. So BCB is an option. We could hit BCB, board games on Monday, card games on Tuesday and board games on Wednesday. If you've run out of highlighters, you can also circle things. So BCC, CBB, CBC, CCB. This is why the colors are so important because now it's getting a little bit harder to read and CCC. So these are all the possible outcomes of games that we can play over three consecutive nights. So if we look back at the question, it says if BBB represents three straight nights of board games, what does CBB represent? So if we're looking at CBB, I remember that it means the first stage is Monday, which means they would play card games. The second stage is Tuesday, which means they would play board games. That's the second letter. And then the third stage is Wednesday, and they would also play board games. So remember, we read it from left to right following the stages. And so the way it's written is the way we would then 
say the description of each. So Monday was card games and Tuesday where Tuesday has board games and Wednesday has also board games. So the last question says to list all the possible outcomes where there are two board games that were played over three days and how many outcomes were there. So if they're looking for two board games, I know we're looking for two Bs not necessarily back to back, but where there's exactly two board games. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at my list of outcomes and only highlight the out outcomes that have two board games in them. So I can't choose the first one because those are three and they want exactly two. This one has two board games. This one has two board games. This one only has one board game, so I can't choose that one. This one has two board games and the rest of them do not have both board games. So I'm going to list BBC. B, C, B, and C, B, B are the three outcomes where there are exactly two board games back to back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try drawing a tree diagram of another compound event.